Good evening, everybody. What a great event for all of us. And I don't know about you, but as I was walking around and looking at these photos, it tapped into something deep in my heart. I was telling the photographers that I grew up in Central Africa as a child, 50s and 60s, a few years before they were there, I must admit. But as I was looking at these uh, photographs, it struck me that it's, these are truly iconic uh, images that can be shown around the world that show how closely we are connected around the world and how much we owe to each other to make a difference. In two weeks from tomorrow, we will launch the International Year of Forests. It's the first ever International Year of Forests. It will be launched in the uh, General Assembly of the United Nations. And uh, we're very happy to be the platform for this um, celebration. But you are the ones who are celebrating it. And the Gabarone Foundation today with this exhibition, this is one of our first events uh, right before the UNFF. And we're delighted that this exhibition is here and that it showcases what we wanted to underscore, which is that the relationship between forests and people is inseparable. And we, since Rio, the, the first conference on sustainable development, we have often forgotten to make the connection between forests and people. So this year of forests, we are saying that forests and people are connected, as well as the, 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 all the biodiversity of forests. And in these images, you can see just that. And I thank the photographers for this outstanding exhibition and for the foundation for putting it on and your supporters for doing it. Thank you very much. You're here. Thank you. Thank you, John. So now, um, I think the next one should be Attila, for instance. Mm -hmm. And uh, Antonia, then. Keep on, keep on. Don't go. So, I will try to be short because it's, uh, I am not who have to speak really because my pictures in this room. But uh, I just a little bit introduce my pictures uh, because uh, unfortunately uh, it's the captions under the process. So um, these pictures, all of these are from the base of the Amazon River, from Brazil, Venezuela, uh, Peru, uh, Ecuador, and uh, represent different kind of uh, ethnic groups, tribes. And uh, what I share more, I don't know. It is uh, maybe some words about myself. Uh, um, I made this project with National Geographic. I'm working with them. And uh, my work is dedicated for the native people and to build a documentary library, visual documentary library about their life, about their lifestyle, and uh, about the things that they have to transmit to us from the forest, from their nature, from their environment. And uh, this is what I am doing, this is what I am working almost 24 hours per day, and this is what I never change for anything else in my life, and uh, this is my life, so please enjoy. <laughs> thank you. Well, I first want to thank the Gabarone Foundation and Anna and Alessandra for inviting me to become part of this beautiful project. Uh, my photos are at the monitor at the entrance. Those are not documentary photography, but I worked for seven years with ten different cultures in six different countries in Latin America producing some images that represent gods and mythical characters of bad cultures. So I focused on mythology mainly, and uh, I really enjoyed that for them, of course, mythology is uh, based on nature. I am a biologist, so I have uh, one foot in the biology and one in photography. And I am very happy to become part of this project because it's the first time I see that uh, people speak about the forest and also about the ones who live in the forest. It is very important because there are, there are hundreds of cultures, indigenous cultures all around the world that they have lived in the forest for centuries and they are part of the forest, they respect nature, they have survived without destroying the world as we do. 
So I am very happy that this project will take into account that people who have lived there and we have much to learn from them. I hope the project will be successful this year and this is the first uh, step we do. This is the first time I also show my work in New York. That work was exhibited in some other countries including the Venice Biennale in 2007 when I represented Venezuela. So I'm very happy to show it for the first time here and I hope that the project will bring many fruits for us and for the world to get some conscious about the importance of the forest and to preserve the nature everywhere there is a forest or jungles we can see every day in the news, floodings in Brazil, in Australia, in Colombia, everywhere. If we don't stop that way we, we are facing the nature, we will disappear soon. So this is a good chance for us to, to take conscious of importance of the forest and nature in general and especially of what we have to learn from the peoples who live and have always lived in the forest. Thank you so much.